Hey everybody, you're stuck with just me again. Yeah, Stephanie went in um, to volunteer to help the friend of ours. And um, I, I have a friend behind me though. And uh, this fire truck was actually in use here in Greenville from 1917 to 1965. I'm not sure if you'll be able to read that, but uh, pretty cool old fire truck. And why the fire truck? Well, we're at the Greenville, Green County History Museum. And um, we usually have some trouble finding that this place is open. And they're open today and I thought, you know what? What better time to stop and take you along? And uh, we'll start here. Established in 1783 in honor of Nathaniel Green, Major General in the Revolutionary Army. Okay, we made it inside. So let's take some look, look around here. And thing in here for Black History Month. These pistols are kind of cool. in here first. This is kind of cool. 1783 Green County Kings Mountain Veterans. Replica of D Day. So this flag, I like to read that, but it was ca captured in the Philippines from the Japanese in 1944 and brought here to Green County as a war trophy. Oh, that's cool.
about that shit. And that was actually made in Greenville. Naval practice bomb. And yes, this used to be the state of Franklin for a short time. And if you see that map, that'll show you where the state of Franklin used to be. Of course, now called Tennessee, but. They have their own constitution. It was cool, cool flintlock. And then there's life in Greene County. That's cool. Some elephants. And there's an iron lung. And pet milk used to be here. And now we'll check out the Civil War section. And this area was kind of split between north and south. But Andrew Johnson came from Greenville. Battles in the area. There's the Battle of Bulls Gap. We'll see if I can't get on this to where you can read it. There's a lot there. Battle of Greenville. There's quite a few battles. It 
some of the artifacts they found. was used as a hospital. Now see, women knew how to dress back then. How about that? I would say so did men. And if you like giant dollhouses, well, here's here's a giant dollhouse. And Andrew Johnson actually owned the property where this house currently sits in Greenville. now the elegant home fine furniture and more 1897 phone long way from a cell phone A little christening dress Germany you just never really know what you're gonna find in some of these museums piano okay now we're on the second floor and Stephanie's missing out on tobacco, tobacco baskets. Good old tobacco. I'm a big fan. different tools they used. Oh, community life. A bygone way of life. Well, that's different. This chair shakes rather violently and is painful to sit in, but after a few minutes of treatment, it would supposedly stimulate intestinal parasit. 
dialysis, I don't know. A longer treatment would cure headaches and back pain and would also increase the supply of heavy, of healthy oxygen to the body. Yeah, I bet. And you wouldn't get me sitting in that. It looks like a torture device. pharmacy nurse's outfit yeah no not a fan of hospitals I wouldn't have been back then and I'm more so not now well, I can't go into this section they have it roped off, but I can at least show you. And we have a Magnavox section in here too. It was in Greene County. Apparently for a while. But as everything else, company greed, they packed, packed this stuff up and moved it overseas. But these are some pretty cool. And who remembers having a TV like that? Remember record player? radio in one of those <laughs> an old remote pinball machine I don't really remember Odyssey I don't remember Atari I don't know which was first And then, of course, Davy Crockett, 1786, if you had any of these toys you gotta leave a comment down below I know I would have liked that busy boy tool chest and the toy gun and the tractor that was down my alley And I hope seeing these toys brings back memories.
that. Here's here's a cool gallery. Just for the young at heart. <laughs> there's a wood duck. Another wood duck. Check him out. That is a big bear. You got a little pheasant down there. Heron. An old crow. There's mule deer, and I can guarantee that is not from Greene County. A little quail, a turkey. That's a merganser. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. A raccoon. Some more ducks. A hornet's nest there. That's cool. And check this guy out. That's a cool owl. Yep, Stephanie, you're missing it. You're missing it, Stephanie. A cool little cabin built in here. And the Great Depression. So let's check this one out. I guess uh, empty plates and empty bowls. That was the Great Depression. An old Monopoly. Of course, the way things are going, it will probably won't be too long. We'll be uh, needing to figure out how and what the people did back then because uh, we're headed to a possible another depression as we speak. Early business. Shoemaker, or I guess it would be called the cobbler. It says Greenville's oldest business established 1880. There we go. 
early business. Shoemaker. Or I guess that would be called the cobbler. It says Greenville's oldest business established 1880. There we go. Green County Bank. Shop. I'm not really sure why there's a mouse sitting in the barber chair. Is the cat's asleep, I guess. Hat maker. That's a lunch. Corn on the cob and tomatoes. In the school. Now we're in the spot, the saloon. Mrs. Ward's Saloon in 1874. That's cool. And this is probably the coolest little section in here. Got the post office and general store. The African American section. Place for all people. And they have this museum, the um, National Museum of African American History and Culture. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that's at. Maybe in DC, I'm guessing, but I don't know for sure. But here's some black American postcards. Green County veterans, the Buffalo Soldiers. Physicians, midwives. There's a U.S. Postal Service cancellation machine. That's an oldie. There's an old mail bag.
He's cool. Mr. Zip, if I'm not mistaken. Andrew Johnson. Now there's, there's that. But we're not allowed to film there. Andrew Johnson family. And some cool paintings. There's the Johnson China. There's a recreation of the parlor. And Mary Stover's bedroom. And even, yeah, this is, this is like uh, typical politicians today. He was opposed to slavery, but he was a slaveholder. Yeah, sounds like politicians today. Except for, I would argue, we're all their slaves at the moment. And they're supposed to be elected officials. But, 17th president... And there's a cool poster. Old Davy Crockett. It's just me going downstairs. Going downstairs. Oh, look at that. Green sifter. I believe that's an apple press or fruit press of some sort. Nineteen seventeen Model T. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Greenville Police, 1965 meter maid cart. And a 1967 police motorcycle, they actually used a Harley Davidson. So wagon's cool. A nineteen oh five buggy. Yes. You can wash your clothes. There's an 1867 or 97 washing machine. Maybe raise a hand on who still would like to have one of those to use today. All right, everybody. So that uh, that's our tour of the museum here in Greenville, and um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And hopefully for our next video, Stephanie will be along. Um, and if not, you know, hey, when people need help, um, you know, we like to give a helping hand when we can. And um, thank you for watching this video. And until next time, have a Stephen Lee day.